France offers huge potential for British exporters. For a start, it's the same population size as the UK, and yet the most visited country in the world. 81 million tourists last year alone. It's also the world's fifth biggest economy. Leaders, of course, in traditional industries like wine growing and fashion, but also cutting edge from aerospace to medicine, and has the second highest productivity rate in Europe. Enough reasons for UK trade and investment to see huge potential for innovative small British businesses who haven't considered new market opportunities in France and to offer a helping hand. At the British Embassy in Paris, 23 SMEs, many from the east of England region, were brought over by UKTI to get an idea of what they may be missing out on and what support is available. Most of these business owners started the day with a little apprehension. I'd just like to get a feel of, of the, the French market um, and I think this, this will be a, a great opportunity um, to really find out on the ground what's, what's available to us, I'm resource based as well, um, because this sort of information could take me years to, to gain over the internet. I sell in some places in England, I also sell in my own shop and online, but I'd really like to export to, to Paris and to France, so I'm coming here to maybe find a, an agent and also make some contacts for people who know buyers and boutiques, which I've done already. We work in the aerospace the nuclear, the power generation and um, industrial markets. Um, aerospace is our, uh, is our key business sector. Uh, we're looking to grow that, that, that side of our business. And uh, we're here today really um, to, to look at exporting and, and, and to understand a little bit more about exporting into the, uh, into the French market. Um, our, our business model really um, is around the machining and assembly side and providing uh, that support to customers in different regions. And we're very limited in terms of our experience of direct exporting into different countries. Uh, and that's something that we're here to learn today. The day began with a number of guests talking about the cultural differences between the two countries, legal issues and case studies, other small British firms that have taken the plunge and succeeded in making a name for themselves in France. UKTI has a staff of 25 in the embassy and across France, with specialists in all sectors and regions, with critical information and contacts for those starting out as exporters. We're here to help British exporters of all sizes, but particularly smaller companies, develop their business in France. And our job uh, is to help them find the information, the contacts that they need to develop their business. Uh, and we want to try and do that in a sort of efficient, quick way so they don't have to invest hours and days of meetings, etc. Uh, in fruitless research, we can help them. In fact, after making initial contact with your nearest UK trade and investment office in the UK and you feel France is not your best outlet for your exports, there are numerous other countries where UKTI has large outposts. We have uh, teams in, in about 100 countries around the world, uh, totaling about 1,200 staff. Uh, a lot of them locally engaged, which means that they actually come from those markets, so they, they live, they breathe, they understand those markets, and they, they have the expertise uh, and the connections, importantly, within those markets. So they can help guide British businesses, they can help open doors, set up the right meetings, make those connections, uh, and help and advise British businesses that are looking to export to those markets. At the end of the day, the initial fears had clearly disappeared, replaced by genuine excitement at the potential opportunities out there. I've learned a lot, I've, I've got some resources to take away, and loads of websites that I already want to look up to, to gain a lot of information. So it is step one of probably a hundred steps that I've got to take until I get over into, into France. Um, but it's a very positive step. Um, and all in one day, it's, uh, I can't ask for more really. It went really well, made some good contacts. Probably going to take part in an um, event which is showing all different creative businesses, maybe in March. So that should be interesting. Also, I spoke with some people who were able to go through my boutique list that I'm going to do the exploring tomorrow, say what ones to approach, what ones not to in their experience. They're also going to get me some contacts uh, to do with those boutiques. 
so and lots of like uh, legal information and um, things to do with France and different cultures and things to watch out for you know just simple things that or maybe simple to somebody who works in France already but not to somebody who doesn't so all good. It's been an excellent day for me today um, came here with trying to, to understand the, the, the French marketplace and how we could access it and do business in here and we've had uh, probably the most successful day of the group here because I'm coming back in a fortnight's time with my uh, managing director um, and we're looking at uh, working with the aerospace, the nuclear uh, sectors over here in, uh, in France. So, superb day for me. A key purpose of this visit is to demystify exporting and to actually demonstrate to companies that although it is difficult and it is challenging, all those challenges are not insurmountable and there are solutions and there are, more importantly there are a lot of UK businesses that are already doing fantastically well and are exporting to all these markets. Finally, it was champagne for everyone before the return back home. The question is, were the small business owners winding down after a long day or celebrating their first export success?